Earlier today, somebody had left me a comment asking me if I could um, make a video about forgiveness. And I had replied to them and told them, you know, I only make videos when Jesus leads me to. Um, and that I would if he led me to. And then a few minutes later, he brought to my memory some things that he actually recently had been teaching me about forgiveness. Um, so I just wanted to come on here because I felt led to share um, what he has taught me. Um, so when I was in the world, I was so angry and bitter. I mean, I just pretty much, you know how they say like um, some people look at the glass half empty and then some look at it half full. Well, I was like the type of person that wasn't even looking at it half empty. Like I just saw all just I just saw the negative and like everything. I mean, it could be the best situation and I would always find something negative, like always. I was just so angry and so bitter inside. Um and it like it really showed through like the way that I felt towards other people because in the same way that I was like just so angry and bitter about everything in life, I felt that same way towards everybody that was around me. Even though I loved them, I would just always like pick them apart um, in my mind. Or, you know, I just always had something negative to say. And um, what Jesus has been teaching me about that lately is that people cannot give what they do not have. So, like, for example, my husband came home uh, the other day and, you know, he was just kind of telling me about one of his coworkers that had just been treating him, you know, just really ugly, really nasty and, you know, just hateful. And um, Jesus was kind of just comforting us, you know. And, and letting us know that we need to understand, like, when a person treats you like that, when people treat you bad, they are treating you bad because that's a reflection of what is in their own heart. They are in bondage in their own heart. They cannot give love. They cannot give hope. They cannot give joy. They cannot give peace because they don't have any of those things in their heart. So they can't give what they don't have. They can't give what they haven't experienced. All they can give is what's in their heart. And what's in their heart is, you know, bitterness and anger and um, just hate. And I, you know, I see this in um, somebody that's really close to me in my family. Um, they, you know, have this way about them as well, where they just you know, it's like everything, literally anytime I ever talk to them, it's just constantly negativity about like every single situation. And um, Jesus just shows me, you know, that that when somebody treats you like that, it makes you feel um, bad. It makes you feel upset. Of course, you know, it makes you as a person feel upset. But you have to think about that they're being spiritually oppressed by that darkness and they are in bondage to that. So you have to think if you're feeling oppressed through that person, how do they feel? They feel darkness, anger, hate, bitterness. That's how they feel. Those spirits are oppressing them directly in their heart from the inside. It's overflowing. So when you realize it, or when Jesus like shows that to you, you just truly understand like, when Jesus showed that to me, it just helped me to, to really just understand that when people treat you like that, you've got to look at it from his eyes that that person's not free. They're in bondage. And um, I mean, do you think that they're happy? No, they're not happy. That's why they're, you know, they're lashing out like that. Because again, they can't give what they don't have. Um, so when Jesus teaches that to you and when you understand that, it really helps you see people um, in the same state, you know, that we've all been in. We've all been there before we met Jesus. At least I know for me personally, 
it was like I was just so eaten up with bitterness and hatred and anger. And the only reason that I'm free from those things is because of Jesus Christ. So we have to, you know, just continue to shine our lights and try to just treat them with kindness and love, you know, because that may be the only kindness and love that they're seeing. They're not seeing, they don't even have that in their own heart. They don't even love themselves. They hate everything. You know, they're angry. That's why they're lashing out that way. Um, And then when you are able to understand that, it really helps you just pray for that person because um, you realize like they're being tortured every day. They're literally in spiritual hell every single day being oppressed and tormented by evil. And they're not free. They're in darkness. You know, they're in chains. Um, So that's just what Jesus has kind of taught me about forgiving and um, just how to truly pray for people that just how to truly pray for your enemies is to really just understand that they're under the power of darkness. Um, And it's sad. It truly, truly is when you're able to think about it and when you're able to separate your feelings of how you feel about it in the flesh and think about it spiritually, then that just makes it so much easier to forgive and just pray for them like how we should be doing. And a lot of times what I will end up praying for somebody is that um, Jesus, can you like do for me, do for them what you did for me? Because he set me free from those things. And I know he can set other people free from those things as well. And so I just pray, you know, do for them what you did for me. Clean up their heart like you did mine um, and set them free. So I hope this message encourages you um, on how to just forgive people. um, And really just ask Jesus to to show you his truth about the situation and to give you spiritual eyes to see um, the spiritual truth about it and to not let your flesh rise up and overtake um, overtake your ability to see the truth in this situation. Jesus bless you.